So with this um this rust on the Pentium three, I've mm. heard like this seems to be a common complaint I'll hear about people that really don't want rust in the kernel, but like Rust SSE two, Rust SSE two. Oh. What is the big deal with Rust and SSE two, and what like why why are these people complaining all the time? Right. So obviously I'm more outside, so I don't know the full technical details. Mm-hmm. But back when they decided what the um, i six eight six um, system was, they mm-hmm. picked um, they picked it to have SS two because um, all Pentium fours had it. Mm-hmm. And some Pentium threes did, but nothing else does. So right. it basically limited it limits about eighty percent of the um, x eighty six architecture from using Rust. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's basically what the issue is. But there is a way around it, mm-hmm. and that's what I went set out to fix. Annoyingly though, just as I fixed it, um, four eight six support dropped from the kernel, so they're now <laughs> dropping. 486 support in Rust and putting 586 in the Rust. So, it, yeah, everyone's going to be fixed anyway soon, so it doesn't matter anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I... Which was great, just as you get to the end to realise that. I was like, for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I always love how... Like, I, I get wanting Linux to run on everything. Like, the idea is, you know, you can install Linux on, you know, your ancient system and it keeps working. But, like, there's... There is a point in how ancient it is where it doesn't make any sense to run a modern kernel anyway so it doesn't but really you can get matter. systems in about 2006 2008 still mm-hmm. running those kernels that still aren't supported so mm-hmm. that's I've, i still think they're in game for being supported myself mm-hmm. yeah maybe from the 80s 90s early 90s yeah i'll, I'll be with you like uh when uh i386 support was dropped for example like you know when it was dropped those those cpus were already e-waste like, yeah yeah no i get you on that i mean let's say and even i486 support dropping is it really an issue not not with other kernel is now you can pick up a, a well what was it a 6.1 it's still in is it 6.2 it drops uh I that sounds was. right yes yeah so it should you should still be able to use that kernel for a fair few years, mm-hmm. and if you want back for it, but you know you're not putting that machine on the internet anyway, so I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I, to be honest, that does sound quite fun. But... Of course it does. <laughs> but you know, you, I reckon you'll be fine for another good ten years or so, and even not even then, I've got a guide on the Gentoo wiki that'll show you how to do it if you want to carry on using it past then. <laughs> so. This took you about 12 hours. So it took you 12 hours to get this all set up. Was that you trying to work stuff out or did you already have it already planned out and it was just a matter of actually executing uh, it? So I've spent many, many months working on, on this, getting it to compile. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, the most fun part of it was building the Pentium 3 machine to actually build it uh-huh. because it was crashing in a VM at the time. So I thought all the time I'm wasting, I might as well just do it in a, on a real machine mm-hmm. and it'll be done in the background. So I built a Gen 2 system as light as possible, managed to get it to boot in, I think, 9 megabytes of RAM. Wow. Just so, just stripping out everything that I don't need, but, uh, and then obviously just optimizing it um, as stable as I can without needing much. Um, yeah, and then just left Rust building, and then 38 days later, it, it finally finished. <laughs> so I know that you, were like... Every so often you will talk in the streams. How often are yeah. you actually there paying attention to what's going on? Oh, about once once a day at about for five minutes. <laughs> I mean on my I am on on my phone I've got a you know an SSH uh, screen link that I could just pop in just to see it's still running, so I didn't really need to watch the stream. Yeah. But yeah. you know, every time I was at home I'd have a look, see if anyone's messaged. I met a nice person on there. Uh, we used to chat a bit when we was there. I've forgotten his name now. I'll go and find it because it was quite nice. Because mm-hmm. uh, I was, but, I was yeah, I, say, I, mm, I wasn't there often. Mm-hmm. I say I wasn't there often. Uh, I think it was James, mm-hmm. um, or James or Mitchell, one of the two. Uh, yeah, I was speaking to them quite a lot. Um, they basically kept me sane during it when I was there. I think I did have a few times that I've been drinking too much and might have chatted away a bit. But, <laughs> you know, trip back from the pub and you're like, eh, he was there. Uh, 